Where are we going today? Uh, the, the sinkhole with the little side tunnel that you thought you saw that's not there. Okay, well we're I intending to prove you wrong. You call it the shaft to nowhere? Is that, is that the... Well, it could go down, but there's nothing coming in. Let's see. There's nothing on the sign that says no caving. Farmer's been telling us about the bears. Keep attacking his cattle. This is actually in the area where we found a couple of dead uh, cattle. I think it was last year or the year before. So, same kind of area. Obviously the bears have become a problem. He keeps finding the, the cattle with marks on their neck, like deep, deep gouges. It's at 4 o'clock in the morning. He had to uh, chase some um, bear and uh, a cub away with a shotgun, so... There it is, shaft to nowhere. I believe that's it. See a little in-feeding stream there. Well, we have the bug jacket this time. You're softening up, buddy. Looks mud and soft out there. Let's head for the bottom. So we've argued for quite a while, Jeff and I. He says this is just a nook in the side of the, of the shaft. What are you finding? I say it goes in a ways because I can see at least 20 yeah. feet. What? Opening some tunnel down there? Yeah. What is it? It's dropping off. This is all nice soil. It's just uh, nice. Like watch the shovel. So this is really not the shaft that goes nowhere. It goes somewhere, but boom. That's nice. Okay, so you, uh, your attitude changed about the so-called shaft from nowhere. In terms of a, of a digging, uh, this is definitely a good prospect. I'm presently perched on the edge of this, on like a little lip at the edge of the shaft. So, ooh. Some pretty large scale scallops, it's maybe not visible with the camera. I'll try and zero in a bit, just see if that helps here. I'm doing this in the dark. You can see a water feature up there. I'll put an arrow in to show. But uh, right where you see the water feature, it then turns to the left. And uh, as I say, I don't know, maybe the tunnel will be less sedimented further on. Just over here, it looks like a bunch of rocks that have fallen in through a crack from the surface. Probably during glacial times, and as the farmer piled them in. Oh uh, well, <laughs> kind of see the, see the scallops. It means there's been water flowing. Moderate speed by the look at the size of the scallop. One of the situations here in digging in a shaft is you got to be careful because the plug that you're usually standing on is eventually undermined, and that's the case here. I can feel my ankles going through. It's really soft and spongy down here where I'm standing, so I'm about to get off, and uh, beneath me, it definitely drops a, a little bit of a distance. I can see further back behind the tire. So hopefully shortly we're about to break through to something a little deeper. I'm definitely feeling the breeze just, just open up a little bit more and there's some cold air coming up for sure. Coming up through that hole. Right. Oh yeah, I can feel it breezing. I think that's his tail back there, the grey thing and this it's another newt. He's hanging out with. Got newts are always by themselves. Probably several newts to every newt nook. Okay, looking down through here, there is quite a drop. So it looks like we're sitting on top of the plug and here's where we go through. Uh, it won't take much to basically remove what I'm standing on now. I'd give that probably 12, 13 feet down. Clear rubble. So I'm hoping lower down there's a passage. You can see all the walls are stained black organic pigments here. You can see there's some air movement just by the way the dust is moving and of course we we no longer get the fog here. The fog's gone. So there's Jeff up there. Where are you? Hey. So
So I think just for today, probably down enough down here in the shaft to nowhere. Well, it's obviously going somewhere now. So we'll probably return with some gloves. Don't like the idea of digging without gloves. End up with tetanus or something nasty like that. So this drops down deep. Somewhere over that away. We've got the big shaft, which drops down equally deeply. Except this one down here seems to be easier digging by far. And then off in that direction we've got Prometheus, which seems to drop away. So I'm just wondering if everything's on a common shaft, common tunnel, uh, all connecting up. I mean, this is definitely a shaft-rich, possibly cave-rich area.